What is the G7? Annual summits of the G7 are always a major international news item because it is such a powerful organization. The outcomes of such meetings affect almost every political and economic move around the world. But what is the G7? The G7 refers to the group of seven intergovernmental organizations of countries recognized as the most influential. They're the seven world's largest developed economies. Thus, the G7 actually means the group of seven countries, namely Canada, Germany, France, Italy, Japan, the UK, and the US. Before 2014, the group was known as the G8, the group of eight, with the inclusion of Russia. However, when Russia trespassed by its annexation of Crimea, Russia lost its membership and the group came to be known as the G7. The European Union is considered a de facto member of the G7, making it the eighth. The EU holds all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of full members of the group, save for its inability to chair or hold meetings. The heads of government of these countries hold periodic meetings to address international economic, monetary, and, in effect, political issues. The leader of the host country usually chairs such meetings, with the presidency of the group being on a rotating basis. The G7 was established in 1973 at the instance of the finance ministers of France, West Germany, and the UK when they met to discuss the economic and political instability then rocking the world. The leaders of those countries, including Japan, started meeting for further discussions on global oil crises. A three-day summit was held in France in November 1975 at the initiative of Giscard d'Estaing and Helmut Schmidt, his German counterpart. The discussion centered on the way out of the oil crisis occurring at the same time with the collapse of the Bretton Woods system and its attending global recession. Among other things, the members at that meeting established plans for future yearly gatherings. When the UK hosted the summit in 1977, it invited the European Economic Community, now EU, to start joining in all G7 summits, and it has continued to do so since 1981. Among its many other achievements, the G7 has launched several initiatives to fund programs and relieve crises whenever there is an opportunity for joint action. Consequently, the G7 has been able to achieve a lot of debt relief for developing nations. For instance, in 1996, it worked with the World Bank to launch an initiative to pardon the 42 HIPC, heavily indebted poor countries, and launched an MDRI, Multilateral Debt Relief Initiative, in 2005. In 1999, the G7 expanded its activities to the direct management of the international monetary system by establishing a process known as the FSB, Financial Stability Forum. Though the group lacks legislative and military powers to drive down its decision and make its position enforceable, it achieves that through the use of economic sanctions and subtle pressures. Only time will tell what will become of the influence of G7 in the next decade. Please let us know how you feel about this video in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications for more.